always order the same dish because it's familiar and comforting? Even if a friend encourages you to try something new on the menu, do you hesitate worried that the new dish might not taste as good as your usual choice? Heard of the phrase known devil is better than unknown angel? Yeah, status quo bias is a cognitive bias that leads people to prefer things to remain the same rather than change. In simpler terms, it can be said to be our tendency to stick with what we know, even when trying something new might be rewarding. But why people have this bias? The term was first introduced in 1988 by Samuelson and Zeckhauser, who demonstrated status quo bias through a series of decision-making experiments. When considering potential choices, people often focus more on what they stand to lose rather than how they might benefit. Generally, people who are older, risk-aversive, rigid not open to change, cautious, are more prone to this bias. Wait. It is not always bad. When an individual may choose to retain their current situation because of the potential transition cost of switching to an alternative. When the cost of the transition is greater than the gains brought about by switching to the alternative, it is rational to stick with the status quo. However, status quo bias becomes irrational when an individual ignores choices that can improve their situation simply because they want to maintain the status quo. Let's take a look at how it affects different aspects of our lives. Imagine you always go to the same grocery store because you know where everything is and feel comfortable navigating the aisles. One day, a new grocery store opens nearby with better prices and more options. Even though it could offer you better deals and a wider selection, you continue shopping at your usual store out of habit. This preference for sticking with what you know, despite potentially better options, is known as status quo bias. Let's look at the impacts of this. Sticking with your familiar grocery store provides the comfort and convenience of knowing the layout and saving time during your shopping trips, which can reduce stress and effort. However, this preference for the familiarity might lead to missed opportunities, such as better prices or a wider selection available at a new store. On the other hand, trying the new grocery store could offer cost savings and an enhanced variety of products, potentially improving your shopping experience. Yet, this shift might come with an adjustment period, as you get used to a new layout, and there's a risk that the new store may not meet your expectations, making the familiar store seem preferable in hindsight. Let's see how it affects our romantic life. Imagine Sarah and Tom have been in a relationship for several years. They have a comfortable routine, dining at the same restaurants, watching movies of each other's liking, and spending weekends at familiar spots. They're content with their predictable pattern and enjoy the stability it brings. One day, Tom suggests trying something new, like taking a cooking class together or going on a weekend trip to a new city. Despite the potential excitement and opportunities for deepening their connection, Sarah feels hesitant. She prefers to stick with their familiar routine because it feels safe and comfortable. This reluctance to new experiences is a classic example of status quo bias in relationships, where sticking with the familiar can feel more secure, even when exploring new activities together could enhance their relationship and bring new joy. Let's see the impact of this. Maintaining their familiar routine offers Sarah and Tom the comfort and stability of a predictable relationship, which helps strengthen their bond through shared, reliable experiences. This consistency provides a sense of security and reduces the stress associated with change. This preference for familiarity also means they might miss a new, enriching experiences that could deepen their connection and bring fresh excitement into their relationship. It even affects the candidates we choose to vote. In politics, voters may continue to support a current or a particular party not because they are the best choice, but because they represent a familiar option. This can lead to a political landscape that resists change and innovation. This leads us to another crucial aspect, which is finances. A status quo bias is often used to explain why people fail to take advantage of investment and savings opportunities. Rather than place their money in investments that have a degree of risk, People often leave their money in low-yield savings accounts. Furthermore, in business, companies frequently persist with outdated business models because of the comfort derived from the way things have always been done. Kodak's initial refusal to shift focus from film to digital photography is a classic example of status quo bias leading to the downfall of a once-dominant market player. In addition to this, health, 
the status quo bias may even affect our decisions to continue or discontinue life-sustaining treatment for loved ones. In one article, the author suggests that one reason families struggle with removing life-sustaining equipment even when recommended by physicians is because this changes the status quo. Through these examples, it becomes evident that status quo bias can be a significant barrier to progress. It's essential to recognize this bias in ourselves and our institutions to overcome it and make decisions that are truly in our best interests. By challenging the comfort of the familiar and embracing the potential of the new, we can unlock a world of possibilities and move forward in a direction that leads to growth and improvement. The key lies in recognizing the comfort zone not as a destination but as a starting point for a journey of continuous growth and improvement.